Hi there, this is Pasta Purple. As I said before, this is me trying to be more consistent with content and trying to create something that um, actually gives some energy, some life, some inspiration. So this is our daily thought for today. I'm going to try and keep them short. Um, so forgive me if I don't fill out every part of the biblical passage. I'm just trying to inspire you to have a look in your Bible. All right, so the first thought for this seven day period is taken from he Hebrews chapter 11, verses 16. Now, I have been told that I talk very quickly, so I will try to slow down my speech and fill the time as quickly as possible with information. I don't know, this is a bit, this is a bit intense. All right, so Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16, and it says this, but they now desire a better place, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Now, this is a really interesting text because Hebrews 11 is called the faith chapter. So what does that mean? Basically, it's the heroes of the Old Testament are all listed here with their accomplishments, what they're actually, the summary of their story. Now, remember, a lot of these guys are not nice people. So the faith aspects really comes in towards the end of their lifetime. But this particular verse is in the middle of this story. So it goes through like, I think six or so people, it goes through Cain, goes through Enoch, Noah, Abraham and Sarah. And then it pauses with this wonderful note, which is that they are now in, their desire is for a better place. They've now realised, oh, hold on, bad life that I was living, I should really desire the world to be better. I should, me, myself, be better. Um, and they're in that, that's the space that the text is inspiring us to be about. And I thought about it and it says that God is not ashamed of them. Now, I <laughs> have a really troubled relationship with some of these characters because the tradition that I come from, they've been built up as if they did nothing wrong. And then when you read the story as an adult, like Abraham's story, let's say, he uh, tries to kill two kids, sells off his wife so she can get raped a few times. It's not nice. Like you, you sit there and you think, but he's not a nice person. How could this be that you want me to look at this man who is just a mess and then look at him as a hero of faith. And then God says here, he's not ashamed of him. And I'm like, I would be ashamed if that was my kid. Like if you were my brother, we got issues. But I think what it's actually saying is that when God looks at my life, he sees how messed up I am. And he sees me trying. He sees me trying to be faithful. He sees all of that effort that I'm putting in. And he says, listen, you should not be ashamed of yourself. Like, own your mistakes. I believe that these characters owned their mistakes. They owned the things that they did. And now they're like, okay, let me look for something better. That's what the text says. We're looking towards something better. We're actually realizing that what the way that we've been living is really bad. And there is something better for us. But we're not ignoring the fact that this is what the reality we live in. And I think that's really important. So I think my thought for today really is about actually, do you own your whole life? Like, are you ashamed of your life? God isn't ashamed of you. Are you ashamed of you? Like, don't live in shame. Look forward to the fact that this broken sh shell of a lifestyle that we have here isn't it there is more there is something that is better there is a god who loves us and who creates in you every day something for us to be to investing to look forward to a wonderful world a new creation and it just isn't here this isn't the whole story so that's what i wanted to say as the inspiration for today it's taken from hebrews 11 verse 16 very interesting chapter if you're interested in reading it. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.